Hi, this is Brandon Swift from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the Standing Low to High Cable Lift. This is a great exercise to work on rotational power. Um, I got this exercise from Eric Cressy, so I'm not the inventor of it. Um, what I will say is you're going to want a rope attachment and a cable machine that goes from the low position, as the name kind of says. But the rope attachment just gives a good, comfortable way to hold the rope. Okay. We also want to make sure that we step away from the machine. We don't want to bottom it out between each rep. So I'm going to show you my non-dominant side here, just so you can kind of see what some not so great reps look like. Um, but also do the other side as well. The left side's good, but I'm definitely right hand dominant. So what we're going to do here. Grab it at the end of the rope, step out a little bit. Again, since we're in a standing position, we don't want our feet super narrow. We don't want them super wide, unless if that's how you really want to program it. But you want them a little bit outside of your hip width, so you got a good strong base. Your, whoops, your hands here are going to kind of stay back here in your back pocket. I'm sorry, your front pocket. And then what we're going to do here in slow motion first, we're going to take my back hip. We're like we're squishing the bug. So a lot of baseball, softball, uh, people can benefit from this and realize what I'm talking about. We're going to spin here as it comes this way. Then we're going to take it and we're going to pop it up. Okay. So this definitely is more of a power-based exercise. Um, you still want to do it for plenty of reps from the uh, repetition piece of it. You don't want to just do like two or three, but you don't want it to where they're going ugh, like that. Okay. So step away from the machine here hip turn and then pop it up by your face here okay and then switch sides here same thing okay so from the back leg perspective got it back here I'm going to try to take my arms to jam it forward twist my foot, follow the cable with my eyes, and here. Okay, so when it comes to programming, I really like this. Two to four sets of about six to ten reps per side. As you can see, it gets me out of breath too. But this is great from that rotational piece. Works great for your shot put throwers, discus throwers, javelin, quarterbacks, any kind of rotational based athlete is going to benefit a lot from this. You can even see this be beneficial for wrestlers as much as they're having to pick up legs, hit duck unders, things like that. Um, you're just going to see a lot of good benefit from an exercise like this in a variety of sports that require that rotation piece. Um, this kind of gives you that little bit of pop behind it. So I really like this for more in season based athletes from our rotation um, and trunk musculature work. Um, I still like all the power presses and holds and all that kind of stuff. That stuff's great. But when our athletes are throwing and stuff, I want to try to work on that strength uh, and power from the trunk piece while they're in season. Um, I think we've seen a lot of really good success with this. It also helps teach athletes how to rotate that back hip really well while they're in season and make sure they keep that, um, especially because when we see them, we usually see them less than see them more in the in season. Um, and we want to make sure that we can keep our end of the mechanics good and clean. So when we go back to other rotational based stuff, all the throws and things like that, uh, we're not having to clean that up when they come back. So again, awesome exercise. Feel free to give it a shot. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.